Andre the Torch Robinson right here. And as you can see, Monday Night Madness is going down right now. Monday Night Madness is going down right now. I got my brother, my brother from another mother. You wouldn't know it, though. You would, you would think that we all got the same parents because of the way we act. I tell you, uh, it is Monday Night Madness, all right? We all about that madness, about that smoke. We got great sports content coming up for you guys. What's up, Dennis the Man Holmes? What's good? My man is totally muted. Look, 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 his mouth moving, mouth moving. My fault. I'm my fault. How y'all doing out there, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, yeah. I wanted to give a happy holidays out to everybody out there on this lovely Monday night madness. Um, I want to give a shout out to the On Point Network. For believing in us and letting us do what we do, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, like and share the show, by the way. Like and share the show right now. Call line will be open within the first 15 minutes of the show. All right. 716-243-5669. All right. Again, 716-243-5669. All right. Um, some of my brothers and sisters will be on this show as, as the show progresses. As you can see, make sure you uh like and share. And make sure that you uh, support all the shows, all right? Talk your ways Tuesday is tomorrow with my man, Dennis the Man Holmes. Uh, and Ron Thomas, make sure you support that show tomorrow. Uh, we had The Vault earlier. Shout out to my man, Chadwick George, my bro. Uh, and Dennis Holmes did a phenomenal job on that show. Y'all make sure y'all continue to share, uh, share, like, support, unity, and community, all right? Um, Marcus Betts got a show Friday coming up as well. Make sure you support the Alphabet Sports uh the football sports talk show. All right. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. Um, we love, we love community and we love unity. So continue to uh, continue to support us in the manner that you have. And we have greatly appreciate that. Now, with all that being said, I got to get the fire started. I got to start the show off with a hot take. I'm calling it the fire starter. All right. All right. So get ready. Here we go. Are you ready? I just want to know, are you ready, Dennis? You ready? We always, ready? we always ready. All right. So if you're ready, I'm ready. All right. Obviously, everybody see this. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers has been a big, 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 big talk in this offseason. You know, those Green Bay Packers. Go, Pack, go, because you know I'm a Green Bay Packers fan, fanatic through and through. All right. For those who don't know. Yes, I am from Buffalo, New York, and yes, I do cover cover the Bills, the Bisons, the Sabres, UB, and everything else that is Western New York approved. Yes, I do, but I am a Green Bay Packers fan uh, through and through. So, nevertheless, shout out to the Challenger News as well. Shout out to my man, Pat Freeman, uh, the Mighty Oba, and shout out to Mookie Hawkins, who, who have mentored me through and through. All right, with that being said, are you ready for this hot take on where Aaron Rodgers should go in the next two seasons from now? Are you ready? I'm ready. Um, let me ask you a question. Where uh -oh. do you think Aaron Rodgers should go in the next two seasons? I want y'all to put that in the comment section. Go ahead. Put it in the comment section, and I will tell you where I think. Where do you think, though, Dennis? Well, I've been saying this, and I've been saying it for a while. Aaron Rodgers is the type of guy where he would like to – really stick it to the Green Bay Packers. And what better way to stick it to the Green Bay Packers than to join the Chicago Bears <laughs> and play them twice a year. Chicago, huh? And, and, and put another piece of flame to the oldest rivalry in football history. So mm -hmm. what, what, better, what better way to do it than that? Mm -hmm. Another team I, I thought about... <clears throat> Was Aaron Rodgers uh, going to San Francisco? That was another team I thought about. Him going to the San Francisco 49ers, which he should have been at when he got drafted. But they chose Alex Smith instead. <laughs> that, you know what, Dennis? You know what, Dennis? Both of those, both of those um, options is real cute. Both of those options is real cute. And before I even get to, to saying where I think Aaron Rodgers should go, let me read some of these comments in the comment section. Jeremy Romero, what's good? You have always supported Rise Up Family in, in the sports uh, in the sports page. By the way, that's on Facebook. If you have not joined Rise Up Family sports page, you should. Uh, all right. 
A Rod not going anywhere. This is all a myth. And if he does, it's the Patriots. Okay, here. Um, David Turley, interesting. I, I would love for him to come. Okay, I could see him going to New England. Melissa said New England as well. Interesting, 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 interesting. All right, like and share the show because I want everybody to hear what I'm, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you something, and this is probably going to shock the world. All right, Aaron Rodgers in the next two seasons will go right here. Whoa! Whoa! They going to trade Joshy Washi? Relax. Relax. Let me explain. I got you. I promise. I know you guys are like, what? The Buffalo Bills. Okay. So let me explain. Let me explain something real quick. Number one, first and foremost, right off the top, I had a conversation with uh, Pat Freeman the other day. So everybody's talking about how Aaron Rodgers and the Packers not getting along. He's not going to play for the Packers for the rest of his career, even though I think he should. But if he just doesn't, let me let me let me bring some synopsis or some some premise to my thoughts. First and foremost, y'all been talking about Josh Allen way too long, and I'm tired of y'all uh, tired of y'all talking about my man by the way, Josh Allen. Y'all been talking about him way too long. I'm putting on the Bills hat for a reason. Yes, the Buffalo Bills, but. Let's just be clear. Let's say that Josh Allen does not make it happen this year. Let's say that Josh Allen has the same type of season he's had the last two seasons, where he's 32nd in completion rating. Uh, he's not getting the ball to Stephon Diggs. Um, he's having issues with his consistency. They fire Brian Dabo. Um, let's be very mindful that Aaron Rodgers is a cold weather quarterback. First and foremost, if I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm not doing nothing that Brett Favre did already. I'm not trying to live in Brett Favre's uh, life. So I'm not going to Minnesota and I'm not going to Chicago because Brett Favre has already done that before, right? Brett Favre in Chicago? No, he's with the Minnesota. Not Chicago. It don't matter. It's still the same division. I'm not doing no moves. I'm not making no moves like like he did as, as far as sticking it to the Packers by going to a division rival. I'm not doing that. That's number one. Okay. Number two, secondly, Aaron Rodgers has always had this issue where his, his teams have not had the greatest of defense. So the Buffalo Bills have been, mm. what, top three, four, five in defense the last couple of seasons, right? Your first okay. two points to make Chicago look real good. Just let you know that. Right. Oh, yeah, they make Chicago look real good. But uh, what team looks better suited for playoffs? The Buffalo Bills, to me. Uh, Tom Brady just left the division, number one. Number two, secondly, no, secondly, the Buffalo Bills have made the playoffs two, and, two times in the last three seasons. Here's the third thing. Again, I'm not going to Chicago because I'm not doing anything Brett Favre did. On top of the fact, Let's consider one other thing, the ring. So let's just say that the Aaron Rodgers was to come to Buffalo, right? The ring would mean more to an organization that's never won a ring, first and foremost. Then on top of the fact, I'm not going to New England because if I went to New England and won a ring, my ring is overshadowed by Tom Brady's six rings, for crying out loud. So I'm just another guy who just went to the New England Patriots and won a Super Bowl from Howard Bill Belichick. Mm-hmm. Ooh, how much? How much does my ring? How much is my ring really worth? If I do that, not much at all. But if you come to Buffalo, not only does Aaron Rodgers become the mayor of Western New York, <laughs> the mayor, this place would go nuts. This place as a city would go crazy. Aaron Rodgers would get the key to the city the same day he got here. And then with Stephon Diggs, John Brown, Cole Beasley, um, Devin Singletary, and that defense within the next two years, are you kidding me? Aaron Rodgers would thrive. Just look what Aaron Rodgers did last year at 13-3 and with the Packers. Aaron Jones had 20 touchdowns. He had 26 touchdown passes, only four interceptions. 
I mean, they just went 13 and three, and guys were like, Aaron Rodgers is falling off. Like, what? Uh, no. Um, Aaron Rodgers just has a head coach who is a run first type of coach. He was Tennessee's coordinator. So if we come here, I mean, Buffalo is a usual run first offense, right? Well, damn. If I got, Don't forget I, Zach I, Moss. Oh, yeah. And plus, AKA you know, Moss mode. I, 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 it's something I just heard of. Mode, Singletary, uh, weapons. You got some pretty good weapons here in Buffalo, right? The ring means so much to the city. Then Aaron Rodgers becomes, I think he's like one, he would be like one of four quarterbacks to ever win uh, two Super Bowls with two different teams, right? Peyton Manning is one. Oh, of course, Peyton Manning is one. But put in the comment section if you know another quarterback that's won two rings with two separate teams. All right. So that also is important. His ring would be super valuable, super valuable to the Western New York community. And, and, it could easily happen. Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean are pretty decent now with contracts, right? Pretty decent. You give Aaron Rodgers about 30, whatever, 30 some million, two years. Let Aaron Rodgers come here if Josh Allen ain't the, ain't, ain't the answer. You get yourself a ring, most likely, because you could, because Aaron Rodgers coming to the Buffalo Bills would easily put Buffalo and at least AFC championship contendership. At least. That was, that was, hey, Dre, the way you stretched that out for all those uh, points you made, that was real cute. You should run for mayor of Buffalo. Yeah, you, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank but, you. I, re- but, I really do appreciate you. But, but, in all, but in all honesty, him going to Chicago would be that much sweeter for him. Absolutely not. Because, and, I, and I know you would say no. he's not going to do that because, you know, he wouldn't do Brett Favre's shadows. And I remember we had this conversation a couple months back, and I said, don't be surprised if the Packers draft a quarterback. You know, and you told me, no, nah, they're not drafting a quarterback. And, then, and the, the Packers draft a quarterback. I'm just telling you, no. Don't be surprised if you see Aaron Rodgers in Chicago and he goes and wins the championship. I wouldn't go to Chicago if I was them. I, just, I, I would. That's, I, a very, that's a very historic franchise right there. They already Kevin Lane said nobody wants Aaron Rodgers in Buffalo. Okay. That's Kevin yeah. Lane for you, bro. Uh, yeah, you don't know what he wants until he get it, so we can't talk about Kevin Lane. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just not even going to respond to that. As yeah. much as I love Kevin uh, for the culture, I'm not responding to that. But I'm That's going with uh, Aaron Rodgers to the Chicago Bears. Um, they, they actually are a wide receiver away from being loaded. So Aaron Rodgers to the Chicago Bears is what I'm going with. Oh, by the by the way, here's another thing. Here's here's the other reason why I say Aaron Rodgers doesn't go doesn't go there. So, number one, I wouldn't want to play nowhere in my division. I just wouldn't. Well, I, I, you I already, would get you already know the division by the back of your head. You, yeah, you know, I, you know I, the Lions. You know the Lions. They they trash. You know I, the Vikings. They are trash. I know. The Vikings, you, you, know trash. On, you know what's on. You know what's on the Green okay. Bay. You know what's on Green Bay. Uh, that they're going to be trash. Uh, you know probably, your division. You know your division like the back of his hand. Why wouldn't you go there? You got a, yeah. you got an easy six wins. Yeah, because mm, I don't know about six wins, easy six wins. I would I would say that wins. he had the you, easier did chance. Did you go undefeated in the division this year? Oh, absolutely. But here, here's, one wide receiver. Here's the, here's the thing. Let's let's be clear now. Don't act like Minnesota ain't no uh, ain't no uh, joke. Don't act like Chicago didn't have a winning record this year either. Let's not yeah, act and like they, they, they had a winning back. record and their defense was injured. Just to let you know that the defense right. was injured. Chicago's and Minnesota's defense both in both both injury problems. But Minnesota the building a whole new defense this year. I could see Aaron Rodgers going to Buffalo because it's easier. To be honest with you, I don't have to deal with that division. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about good teams. Listen, Minnesota. When the last been time? Good when the last, the last time? Five Buffalo. years. Chicago's been good the last three years. And let's be clear: Buffalo coming here, New England drop off, the Jets a drop off. And Miami drop off, depending on what happens in the next like two years. But you also got to look at contracts too. By the time, by the time Aaron Rodgers would get here, Buffalo should have all their main contracts signed up, already signed up and sold. Right, because if you don't pay, if you don't pay Josh Allen in those two years, then you got a lot of money left over. Mm -hmm. So here's my thing. Let me ask you this. So 
when the last time a big time free agent, and we talk about free agent, has been to Buffalo? Um, uh, let's see. Big time free agent. I'm thinking it's Terrell Owens. Yeah, I would say Terrell Owens. So, and then that, right at the end of his career, too. Uh, interesting enough, right, 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 right toward the end of his career. Right. Uh, I give you all of that. You're right about that. But nevertheless, I'm I'm just saying he's not going to Indianapolis. That's a dome. I wouldn't go to Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh sold on what they what they want and what they have. Uh, he's not going to a hot weather team. I'm sorry. Look at Aaron Rodgers' uh, record against hot weather teams. He's well, San Fran is a bunch of times. San Fran is his homes, and they got a hell of a defense. They got wide receivers already in place. He's, they just got, got one it. of the worst quarterbacks on the championship team. Honestly, That's fine, but he's he's not a great he's not a great hot weather quarterback. I'm just I'm keeping it real about Aaron Rodgers. He's not a hot weather quarterback at all. Well, he did pretty good when he was a cow. So, but uh, you know uh, what? Uh, oh, you know what's funny? I'm glad that you mentioned cow. What is one thing they don't play in that conference? They don't play enough defense. Exactly. And what has Aaron Rodgers' biggest uh biggest Achilles heel been? Playing against great defense, right? Yeah. Okay. Remember I said, remember he beat, I said. He beat, a, he beat a great defense to win the championship. Remember, remember I said prestige, prestige you. Interesting enough, uh, that has been his Achilles hit. What, uh, you talking about the Steelers? The Steelers. Uh, the Steelers was good. Would you would you consider them a top 10 defense of, of the 2000s? 2010s? Yeah. Between, between 2000 and 2020, you would consider 2010 to 2020, yes. Hmm. Because he won the Super Bowl in what, 2011? Right, but, but here's the thing. You're only giving up 10 years, so how many – I mean, you're talking about 10 defenses. You ain't slick, man. Yeah, you exactly. ain't slick. You yeah. ain't slick. That's why I said 2000 and 2020. But all right, moving on. I'm sorry. I just wanted to put that out there. I think Aaron Rodgers' best move would be to come to Buffalo. And, and uh, vote for – Ladies and gentlemen, a whole lot more. Ladies make sure you all vote for De- uh, DeAndre the Torch Robinson. That's right. Uh, vote for me. He's running for mayor. Vote for me. That's right, Mike. Rise up. Rise up, baby. You know what it is. Let's go. All right. So, moving right along. Next topic. Uh-oh. 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 Most sacks by brothers in the day. In a day. Um, Bosa or Watts, if you had to start your franchise, which brothers you taking? The Watts. Are you taking the Watts or the Bosa? The All Watts, right. hands down. Put it in the comment section right now. Are you taking the Bosa or the Watts? Put it in the comment section. And you can call me right now because this is the number. You ready? 716-243-5669. Real easy. All right, there it is. Pitt, let's get it. I'm going right. with the Watts. Who are you taking? Uh, Mario Williams is uh, what Dalton and, and Kellen said. Mario Williams, okay. Uh, Kellen said the Bosas. He's taking the Bosas. All right. Oh, Mario Williams was the last big time free agent to come in. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mario Williams. I don't know if I consider it. Yeah, that's debatable. Uh, David Turley said he would be bigger than Jim Kelly. The Vikings isn't a terrible team, right? I think Aaron Rodgers is too old. Okay. Um, good point, Dennis. Take his temperature. Allentown here to stay. Uh, Gary, you can't be saying Allentown here to stay when you're not a Bills fan. You're a Patriots fan. Nice try. To. Um, He's an Aaron bring, fan. bring Aaron Rodgers to the Chargers. No. No. What's good, J. Andre? What's good? Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Moving right along. I'm taking I'm taking the Watts all day. All right. I'm taking the Watts. This is just simple and plain. All right. I think TJ Watt is a monster. All right. A monster for the Steelers. And I think, and I think JJ Watt has been phenomenal for the Texans via minus it being injury prone. So all right. Here's the next, here's the next thing. Building the perfect team. All right. Do you agree agree or disagree with any of this, Dennis, the man home? Um, 
Maybe wide receivers is debatable. Wide receivers, offensive line, and tight ends is debatable. That's about it. Defensive line. Uh, do I say defensive line? Interesting enough, you said that. You said wide receivers is debatable? Wide receivers, tight ends, O-line. Wide receivers, tight ends, O-line. All right, so if you move one, you got to put one in place. Okay, so if I move wide receivers, then I would probably either put the Buccaneers wide receivers or the Cowboys wide receivers as number one. For where? For wide receivers. Wide receivers, I'd either put Cowboys or the, Buc- or the Bucks. Okay. Cowboys or Bucks. If I'm going tight ends, I'm going with the Philadelphia Eagles. If I'm going offensive line, you go a couple different ways. I mean, don't get me wrong, the coach is doing good, but I feel as though the Eagles could be there. I feel as though that the Dallas Cowboys could be there. That's just how I feel on that. Okay. So, tight ends, I will give you the Philadelphia Eagles. Totally. I'm in agreement with that, all right? Shout out to Philly. Shout, Shout out, out to Philly for Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince was born and raised on the playground. That's where he spent most of his days, all right? High five to you. Uh-huh. All right. O-line, the Colts have a pretty good O-line. i am be honest with you. I did some research on the Colts O-line. It's pretty doggone good, all right? Wide receivers, I'm going with the Bucks. I'm going with the Bucks. Uh, linebackers, I'm going with the Steelers. I'm going with the Steelers. Okay. Uh, defensive backs, I'm not going with the Patriots. I'm going with the Ravens or the Bills, either or. Or the Chargers. Or you can go with the Chargers. I like the Chargers, but I do like the Bills. I think, um, to be honest with you, if safeties was included, I got to take Buffalo. Safety is included in the defensive backs. Wow. It, it, defensive backs. Yeah. So if, if we're unless included, you unless you're talking to Chad with George, shout out to Chad with George uh, from the vault. Unless you're talking to Chad with George, defensive backs only safe for corners. Uh, so here's here's the comments right now. Uh, Kellen said Bosa hands down. Bosa said Dalton Watt hands down. Said Donovan, what's up, Donovan Samuels? Uh, let's see. T.J. Watt is a monster. J.J. Watt is injury prone, but a monster when he's healthy. Uh, DBs is a question. Dalton said that the Steelers lineback, linebacking core is better than the 49ers linebacking core. I kind of agree with that. I also have another linebacking core that I think is pretty good. Leighton Van Der Esch. Yeah, the Jaylen Dallas Cowboys, Smith, if he's, if he's fully Smith, healthy. And Sean Lee. If Sean Lee is fully healthy, I think that linebacking core is phenomenal. Shout out to Marcus Betts. Um, Colts O line is iffy. I'd go with the Ravens O line. Say year, okay. Ah, uh, but uh, what you call him? Got uh, retired. Yonder retired. I'm going up to yonder. Going up to yonder. Going up to yonder. All right, we gonna take him to church in a minute. All right. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, put it in the comment section. Continue to tell me who you would take off this list. And who you would put on this list? Me and Dennis on the roll right now. All right, let's continue. You ready? Oh, oh, oh! And I told you Monday Night Madness gets oh. even more real as the time progresses, folks. And we are we only twenty eight minutes in. All right, call lines is open. By the way, seven one six. Oh, Frederick, what's happening? Two four three five six six nine. Let's go. All right, like and share the show. Uh, you know what? You know which one I think is actually easier? Mm, which one? Sacking Mahomes is probably the easy one out of all of this. Really now? Yeah, sacking Mahomes is easier than all this. First of all, you're going to take on uh, Nelson on the pool? You're done. Uh, <laughs> you may not want to do that. Uh, blocking, blocking Aaron Donald? Child, please. Three people can't block him. Yeah. Tack, tackling Derrick Henry. Hold on, 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 hold on,
I think it was 20, 28. Yeah. And he's a defensive tackle, by the way. He's a tackle position here at 26. Yeah. He's a, he's a shoe-in for Hall of Fame. Shoe-in, definitely. Um, covering Tyree Hill, that's not possible. I miss Delindra. What's up? I see you watching. Um, tackling Lamar Jackson open field, that's like, that's like playing a video game. You're going to miss. Tackling yeah. Derrick Henry, you're going to miss. I, I, my best chance is to sack uh, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did is tackling Lamar Jackson in the open field. You know what you might hear? You might hear some basketball references in football. In football, is it the shoes? It the shoes? <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> After you get done and you miss him, you're gonna say, Mama, there goes that man. Right. Shout out to Mark Jackson. Right, right. By the way, by the way, shout out to Dennis the man home, man. It's always a pleasure. It's always a whole lot of fun when you get on here for sure. Um, so covering Tyreek Hill, sacking Mahomes, tackling Henry, blocking Donald, tackling Jackson in the open field, or taking a pulling Nelson. Hmm. I'm going yeah, to agree I mean, with I, you. I'm going to take on pulling Nelson, but it's going to who? I ain't going to feel the same. Uh, listen, I'm going to agree with you, and I'm going to say sacking Mahomes is is the easier of the five, of the six. All right, you can catch him off guard. Yeah, I'm I'm going to agree with that. All right, all right. Let's read some comments in the comment section. Uh, here we go. Dennis voice just crackled in the screen. Uh, <laughs> oh shoot! Dennis, they try to come fight. Oh, that's Dennis, they come fight. I don't know why, but they tried to come for you. They said that 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 uh that Barry White silky smooth uh mic ain't working for you. All right, they can have whatever they want. <laughs> oh boy! All right, moving right along to the next. What's the next one? Let me see what else he got. Ooh wee! Oh, uh, what, what we going on here? Mm-hmm. Bonafide franchise quarterbacks. Carson Wentz up there. Holla! So quarterback tiers, twenty twenty. Shout out, shout out to everybody for tuning in, by the way. And again, wow, like and share the show. All right. So hopefully y'all see this list. Mahomes, bona fide, bona fide. Wow. Bona fide franchise quarterbacks. All right. You got Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. Okay. Um, Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz. Ben Roethlisberger. All right. Do we agree with that? Is there anybody you would take out? Maybe. uh, No, nobody you take out. Nobody you take out. By the way, I'm sipping tea right now. I'm sipping the tea. Oh, if they was wondering, if they was wondering what I was drinking earlier, um. I was drinking the detox. Oh, well, somebody should have detoxed this list. Uh, well, which, which one you want to take out? Who are you gonna uh, take out? Excuse me. Um, Big Ben Roethlisberger. Listen. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Who are you about to take out? <laughs> you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm taking, and I'm 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 sorry to do this. I really am super sorry to do this. Here we but go. Until he won a playoff game. Here we go. I see. Until I see him do more. Well, actually, 36 touchdowns last year was a lot, which was good for him. Which, really, which really led good the league, by the way. Which, yeah, which was really, really good for him. But to say bona fide franchise quarterback, mm, uh, I guess my criteria on that is a little stiffer than um, <laughs> insider Jason uh, LaCanfora, whatever his name is. <laughs> Sorry. If I slaughtered it, but yeah, Lamar Jackson's not on this list. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Why is Lamar Jackson not on that list? Lamar Jackson not on that list for for a couple of reasons. Yes, yes, I get it. He's thrown for thirty six touchdowns in year two. But the more you play, the more tape people have. And I will also say that he has definitely helped. He has definitely helped with a defense that is phenomenal in Baltimore. That is always has well, always prided themselves on great defensive culture. Okay, I'm glad you um, said that. 
Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm glad you said that. Oh, 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 let me, let me, let me finish my argument, though. I got, if I, if I got to argue, you got to let me, let me give you the full premise on why. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes easily should have been to the Super Bowl twice if it had not been for the corny refs who, who miscalled, miscalled the play against New England. They go to the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes could be a two-time Super Bowl winner already. Russell Wilson has been to two Super Bowls, should have won both Super Bowls. It won one. I mean, in convincing fashion, and and is probably the second best or third best quarterback in all of the league um, right now, currently. So Deshaun Watson has won a playoff game and has put up numbers with a sorry, and I mean sorry, offensive line and running. I don't talk about rushing. Oh my God, his his running game has been nowhere near. Lamar Jackson and what he's had is a running game. Tom Brady, obviously, six Super Bowls doesn't even need to be explained. Drew Brees has been to a Super Bowl multiple, uh, multiple, multiple playoff appearances, uh, even though he's had the worst of luck the last couple of years. Aaron Rodgers, probably the most consistent NFC quarterback in the last 10 years. Bias, so bias. Mm, most consistent. Listen, we bias. already had this argument, no bias. No bias whatsoever. He's the, he's probably the most consistent. Okay, I, I I asked you again to name me a name me a quarterback or a team that has made it to the Super Bowl, uh, made it to the playoffs every year. He's been a starter for the sixteen games. I asked you that question. Nobody can answer it. That's because Aaron Rodgers is the only one in the NFC. Um, Carson Wentz. Good. Already, you know what? Good. Here's the thing on Carson Wentz, though. Can we say Carson Wentz has won a uh, playoff game yet? No. Okay. His team won a Super Bowl, but he hasn't won a playoff game yet. So now, let me ask you this question, since who would you move out? Um, sir, if I had to put Lamar Jackson or Carson Wentz on a, on a balance beam, and you had to move out one, which one is getting moved out? Uh, first of all, I'm not going to be on that balance beam because neither one of them go anywhere. Sir, answer the question. No, no, no. You, you answer put, the question. You no, no, no. Don't duck it. I won't duck the question. Uh, I'm ducking I'm that question. Ducking. All Facebook Live, if you had to move one quarterback, which one would it be? Uh, it's nah, nah. That. Which one would it be, Facebook Live? Would it be LeBron Jackson or would it be Carson Wentz? Come on, put it in the comment section. Mm-hmm. He set me up. My team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They love me. They love me. Over there. All right. I said if I had to take one person out, it would be Deshaun Watson. Whoa. Oh, what? Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa. I'm just trying to figure out how is Lamar Jackson one that should be taken out. Yet he led the league in touchdowns and did not have a number one wide receiver. <clears throat> Sir, I, I just gave you all the premise in the world. Are, are we talking about the fact that he led the league in touchdowns last no, year? No, no, he led the league in passing touchdowns. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. Right, with no number one wide receiver. I said that. Yeah, no. How, uh, yeah, yeah, he stinks. He's a bona fide franchise quarterback. Nah, nah. I can't. You Carson know. Wentz lost all his weapons. You Excuse mean. me when I say it. All his starting weapons. Uh huh. Go and, ahead. Tell them, and, tell them where they got their weapons from. Dennis. They had to get them from Walmart and Uber drivers <laughs> just to make sure that they made the playoffs. We call <laughs> Uber drivers up. <laughs> Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eats drivers. After they left the game, they had to go back doing Uber to make the rest of their money. You got me dying laughing right now. Some of them boys still had to shift at Walmart with me when I was there. They put Jimmy Garoppolo in the Rising Stars category. Uh, they don't sit him down over here next to uh, next to, <laughs> yeah, next to oh, Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, oh, we ain't there yet. Is, we ain't there yet. Let, let's, oh, get there. let's get there. Let's get there. So, second tier. Top pros, proven winners, right? Matt Ryan, Matthew Stafford, <laughs> Dak Prescott. Whoa there, buddy. Um, if you had to take one of these quarterbacks out, which one would it be? No, nah, they can stay. Uh, they can stay. Yeah. Dennis, you being real nice and cozy tonight. What, what's up with this? Well, because, all right, listen, stuff? if I wanted to take one out, I would take out Matt Ryan. And if I'm taking out Matt Ryan, ugh. man, you sound like a new edition member right now. You can stay, stay, 
Sound like so I guess I'm taking out Matt Ryan and I'm putting in uh I'm putting in Kirk Cousins. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, it would be Matt whoa, Ryan. Whoa, whoa. It would be Matthew Stafford. Stafford doesn't hasn't won a playoff game. Okay, I was about to say what? <clears throat> so hey, Stafford, man. Stafford for Cousins. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um Rising Stars. Uh what about Rivers? What about Rivers for Stafford? You putting Cousins uh, over Rivers? Rivers Rivers got the noodle arm. No, I'm talking about – oh, my good Lord Jesus. Rivers got the noodle arm, okay? Well, you, you know, know what you Rivers got? Listen, you remember Peyton Manning last year? Listen, remember the last year Peyton Manning played? Hey, listen, you keep saying noodle arm, young man, and the last time somebody had a noodle arm, they won the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's and, right. You know, But you know one thing I got to get Peyton Manning? He outsmarted their whole defense. Yes, he did. He outsmarted that whole defense because he couldn't do he could throw nothing but a slant. He outsmarted that whole defense. He got his arm back now. He feel pretty good now, but for some reason that year he had the noodle. So let me read these comments. Ron Enix said, I need more tricks. <laughs> Dalton said, Don't get me wrong. I like Watson. It's Bill O'Brien. He has no old mind. His favorite target went to the Cardinals. Ramona said, I don't think he belongs on that list yet. Uh Yuri said Who? Who she don't think belongs? Who, Ramona? Who, 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 who? Like a New Day member. Who? Uh, <laughs> I forgot who. Who, who she talking about? Lamar. She better not be talking about uh, Carson Wentz. She probably don't talking believe, about Lamar. She probably talking about Lamar. Don't believe Locke should be on. Uh, Locke should be that low. It's still early. Dalton <laughs> said Stafford needs to be out. Okay. Burrow shouldn't be uh, on there. Period. He has to play the game. Sit here. Uh, I agree. Okay. So. We got we got Matthew Stafford out of number two, tier two. All right. We putting them right there in tier four, right next to Ryan Tannehill and Jared Goff. Right, right. That's where we need to be okay. right next to the, all the rest of the losers. All right. Uh Kirk about, Cousins, uh, I think I think Phillip Rivers is more of a proven winner than uh than Kirk Cousins, to be very honest. That's just my opinion. Um I think uh, Phillip Rivers is overrated. Ooh. Mm-mm. Don't be traveling rivers without a paddle, floating. You know what's creek. Let Sorry. me tell you something. If I float, you know what's creek. Oh. I'm coming out of there with a white shirt on. It's still gonna be clean. Just let you know that. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, she said Jackson. By the way, Ramona died. Oh, all right, Ramona, you are right with me, but he still belong on it. He won the MVP. Thanks, Ramona, I he agree. Did six touchdowns, and and he had no number one wide receiver. Let the league in touchdowns have no number one wide receiver. That's brilliant. Uh, Chuck Thomas said Rivers over Cousins, by the way. I ain't, nobody care, ain't nobody care about River Boat Rivers. All right. So, rising stars, you got Kyler Murray and Jimmy Garoppolo. I, I see that you called me a TEB, Bill, Bill's Mafia. Y'all going to be calling me a TEB. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, do we agree with tier three? No, Jimmy Garoppolo that belongs right down here next to Good Luck, okay? <laughs> that's, that's where he belongs at, next to Good Luck. The man who just went to a Super Bowl belongs right down here. With, right down there next to Good the Luck. Man. He belongs right he down here. He might be the man. third worst quarterback to be in the Super Bowl. And he might be third worst. Wow. First was Rex, well, Rex Roseman. Mm-hmm. Oh, they said Dennis loved Kyler. <laughs> yeah, you know he loved Kyler. Number love Kyler. Kyler's a rising star. It was rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving right along. Tier four. You can win with them. Kyler, Tannehill, Cousins, Mayfield. Well, it's Matthew Stafford now. Uh, excuse me, Mayfield. <laughs> Get out of here. You're going down. But you don't brother, think you can win with Matthew Stafford, Mayfield? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. My boy Baker just had a bad season, all right? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My boy Baker just had a bad season. My boy Baker just had a bad season. Um, I mean, well, if we Baker going off of the last two seasons. If we, if we going off of Baker's last year's mm-hmm. interception to touchdown ratio, mm-hmm. there's a guy that's on here. You know the, what? I, we know where you're going. I there's a guy that's on J. that J. same I done, list. Told, I done told you about trying to pick with J.A., okay? No, it ain't J.A. It ain't J.A. Oh, okay. It ain't we J.A. It's an about, older guy. Taylor? He's on this. No. 
is on the same list, and he threw just as many interceptions and touchdowns. Go ahead and explain it. His name is Phillip Rivers. Oh, Lord. And he had the team that was supposed to win the Super Bowl. And Mayfield had the team that was supposed to be an AFC championship game. But yet they both wanted to throw 20-plus interceptions. See, we forgot about that so much because Jameis Winston went 30 for 30. That's why we forgot about that so much. Jameis Winston took the cake. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Baker Mayfield threw 21 and Phillip Rivers threw 23 interceptions. You know, the Lord let, the Lord said, let there be light. And so... I'm going to tell you another thing. Light came in the mind. And they, both, and they both had two number one wide receivers, but Lamar Jackson didn't, and he still threw 36 touchdowns and led the league in touchdowns. That's all I'm saying. The Lord said, let there be light. And light came into my room. So, I, I, I'm going to be very honest. Um, Mayfield, you can come off this list. <laughs> what you done did the last two seasons that made me believe. No, no, no. He won rookie of the year the first season. I, 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 I know what he won the first. You said what was two the record? What was, what was, what was their record? He didn't start to week six. I don't care. What was their record? Oh, well, you got to blame half that on Taylor. So, he needs to come off there, too. I, no, sir, I'm not blaming none of that on Taylor. You want to know why I'm not blaming none of that on Taylor? Because every single one of those games, Taylor put him in a position to win them games. If they would have had a kicker, that, that team would have been undefeated when Baker Mayfield came in. Yeah, go let me, look it up, sir. Let me say, let me say this. Then. Yeah. Let me, let me say this, because y'all like to give a lot of love to Taylor for those uh-huh. beginning of the season yeah, game. Yeah, we him a whole lot but of love. Was, but if he was that good, why did he get benched? Oh, we know what. You know what, Dennis. Do we really need to go there? I don't think bench? it got nothing to do with that. I think mm-hmm. he got benched because he just wasn't better. Mm. And you know what? We're going to see it again. It's going to happen again. Mm-hmm. Emmanuel Rapper, what's good, my brother? Shout out to you. I don't even uh, start the season. I, I know some great things is coming up for you, my brother. Shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in, by the way. Uh, Chuck Thomas said, Dennis taking up for them Sooners. Next next thing you know, Hollywood Brown will be a top-tier wide receiver. <laughs> he will be next season. You boomer like Sooner. He love boomer Sooners, huh? All right, I'm, so. I'm Hollywood. So. I know, I know Ethan. I know. I know Ethan. So, tier five. Ready? So we got tier five, obviously. Tier five is guys, veterans, and placeholders. Ryan, the messy beard, Fitzpatrick. I think he needs to be there. I think Taylor needs to be there. I think um, golf. Darnold. Uh, no, golf. He, golf had one bad year, even though I know he trash, but he had one bad year in all reality. You know he trash. Yeah, I know he trash. He's terrible. He's terrible. I think Josh Allen should be in those rising stars, though. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I'm not trying to be the mayor of uh, Buffalo. Just when I come to visit, I'm trying to get all the glue. That's all. Um, <laughs> um, who else was on here? The verdict is out on Dwayne Haskins, yeah, because they ain't get Dwayne Haskins nothing to play with. That's why. Yeah, right. You're right about that. All right. Moving right along. Uh, good luck, <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky. The Mitch is down here. Should anybody else be down here? Well, good luck, yes. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo should be there in good luck. Sam Darnold should be there in good luck. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, sit him. Sit him should be there in good luck, too. Sit him? Sit him. Mm-hmm. Notice his name, sit him. He'll be yeah. on the bench. <laughs> He'll be on the bench real soon. His name is Sidham. What you going to do with him? Sit him down. Sit him. Uh, Marcus said, I want free wings. Um, free, oh, when he get the Buffalo? Ethan, give Marcus the call. All right. Appreciate you. Mitchell Trubisky. All right. The verdict is out. Tier seven. Joe Burrow, Gardner Minshew. Wait, a, wait the heck of a minute. <laughs> How did you I know? actually think Gardner, Gardner Minshew shouldn't be on this. On this tier seven list. Why you don't think the verdict is out on him? You think he's actually good? Yeah, I, I think Gardner Mitchell was actually good. You gonna in put him fact, in? Tier? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a matter of fact, I think Gardner Mitchell is the best one on that list. 
We ain't seen Burroughs yet, so we don't know about Burroughs. But I think what Gardner. About, what about that? Well, I, what about Drew Luck? Drew Luck got two number one wide receivers right now. Lock is nice. Lock is nice. But give Minshew some 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 weapons. We gonna see what Minshew can do. Minshew was. I don't actually, know. Minshew. Minshew got. Minshew was actually very interesting to watch last season. Ooh, to be man, very honest. Man, listen. If, if somebody go over there and fix the attitude of Jacksonville. They might, they might win. They might win seven games if they can fix the attitude over there. Monster, what's up? Shout out to Monster for watching as well. Let me read some of these comments. So we have win a damn Super Bowl, said Ramona Dot. Jimmy G should be on tier one. I still tier one. Who what? said that? Who said that? Yuri, Yuri Barrow. Oh, Yuri, 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 drink some ice water. <laughs> Uh, get tra uh, Faker trash field and Tyrod Taylor out of there. Uh, yep, Josh Allen, rising star, but not Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm. No, Josh Allen is you can win with him, he's in tier four. Come on, t uh, TC. No, 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 I put him in uh, I put him in uh, rising stars. Oh, you put him in rising, yeah, I put stars. Josh Allen in rising stars, and I mm. put Jimmy Garoppolo in good luck. We'll see after this season. Maybe I'll put him in the right. And you know, the only person believing in Jimmy Garoppolo is Patriot fans uh, and San Francisco fans. Uh, Mr. C and Ghost should be in the good luck uh, tier. Oh, let me get in on this. Yeah, Ethan, hopefully you gave Marcus Best the uh, code because I definitely want him to get in here for sure. Uh, free Wings. Mr. Who is Free Mom. Wings? No, 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 no. That's Chuck, Chuck Thomas. Since they uh, closed it down. What's up? What's up? What's going on, Mr. Randall? What's up? Uh, Chuck Thomas said they take it for Trevor. Said the Jaguars take it for Trevor. Uh, how the hell is Josh Allen the rising star? As, 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 as Devon, the professional Stanfield, would say, Trevor. 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 Shout out to Devon Stanfield, by the way. You're uh, able to know the game longer than a year and a half. <laughs> Ramona. Ramona died. Hilarious. Um. C.C. Casey said, you eating glue again? Talking about me? Yes. All right, here we go. Sit him. Oh. But that, next, time, next time he say drag him, I'm going to say sit him. Sit him. Uh, sit him. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny said, uh, how the H.E. double hockey sticks is Wentz uh, top tier and Matt Ryan is tier two? Tell, tell Johnny, drink a cool glass of water. He'd be feeling better. <laughs> Uh, Chuck Thomas says, where is Cam? Where is Cam Newton on this list? Uh, Cam Newton is not a start. This is potential starting quarterbacks on this list. Uh, even if he was, I'm putting him in tier six. You putting him at good luck? <laughs> good luck. You ain't going to put him in. You can win with Cam Newton? Good luck. Oh, you ain't right, man. I need you to hit you right. with, the taking, with, the, with the famous Taken saying again for the movie Taken. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Um, all right, moving on. I'm sorry, I'm just having a little bit of fun, y'all. Moving on to the next topic. Marcus Betts, get your butt in here. Yes, I, I know it's TV, but I need you to get on in here. All right, Marcus Betts should be here shortly. Now, just when y'all thought the madness was going to cool down a little bit, it did. Uh... And here he is. Marcus the alphabet in the house. Oh, by the way. Um, I'm going to stop this for a second. Marcus, what's good, my brother? Marcus mm -hmm. Betts. The alphabets. Turn on your audio. Yes. What's good, bro? What's going on, guys? What's good, my brother? Good to see you in here. Yeah. What's going on, man? Man, it's just too much. It's too much homerism going on up in here, man. I have oh, to come in here. Boy, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. Too much uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen on the On Point Network, how y'all doing? If you don't know, this is Marcus the Alphabets, and if you were ever looking for something crazy to be said or um, something to be done, Marcus Betts will deliver it. Just let oh you know. no, 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 no! I got even one even better. If you're looking, if you're looking for a guy, you can give a compliment, and he comes on here and still gives you a fresh pile, a fresh pile of overism. <laughs> Just come right on here and get the man with the ass on his chest. I listen to some of this stuff, and I'm just like, good lord, guys. Oh, uh, like, come, come on, Marcus, on, and tell us what it is. Tell us come what on, you don't man. agree with so far that you watched in the show. I, I'm, 
I'm just look. I'm looking at this. By the way, can we give them a real quick recap? Sure. Give me a, all right, let's give them a real quick recap. Everybody who uh, just tuning in. So first and foremost, no, our about one hour so far in. has been for the first hour. For the first hour of the show, we have talked about quarterback tiers in 2020. If you see it uh, right here, actually, as soon as I put the back in the mode that it needs to be in, uh, let me get it there, and I will. And just a second. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Here we go. And I am back on the prowl. Back on the prowl. Back on the prowl. Yes, we back on the prowl uh, for sure. All right. So get this out of here. Yeah. All right. So this is what it looks like, y'all. For the first hour, this is what we talked about. We talked about quarterback tiers in 2020. All right. Uh, we definitely have some uh, discrepancies in this list. Okay. Uh, probably should have got a big old magic marker and drew a circle or some faces on some of these quarterbacks. Okay. Now, I just want to say, uh, just just real quick, just, just can you go back to that quarterback list, that, that tiers list, please? Oh, sure, 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 sure. You got it. Okay. H how in the hell is Matthew Stafford a proven winner and he's never won a playoff game? I'm just uh, saying. It's, Not it's one. We took him out. We took him out. The experts took him out. <laughs> yeah, we took him that's out. Just, that's just that's just terrible. That's just that's just terrible. Like how I, do you? Now I took out? him out and I put Kirk Cousins up there. Kirk Cousins is a proven winner. And I I didn't put yeah, I didn't put Rivers. Phillip Rivers there because I felt as though last year Phillip Rivers got the noodle arm and two I think twenty three interceptions. Rivers to me is over Cousins, but okay. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, Carson Wentz is a bona fide franchise quarterback. Carson, I knew, I knew. The, guy, I knew. the guy who the guy who they just dra they just drafted a quarterback in the second round mm -hmm. because he can't stay healthy. Uh -oh. You ain't say nothing about his game plan. Let me let me ask you this. Let me just let me ask, let me just ask this. When is another team that's had a tw a twenty seven year old quarterback? And they go and draft the quarterback in the second round. You tell me another team in history in the hit in the hundred year we history. Are, we are the first team to do it. Y'all are the first team to do it? Maybe. I don't know, but I've never I've never now so when we look at uh Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, I think Brett Favre was like 35, 36. 35, Aaron Rodgers is 36 and he did it to him. Um you look at, you look at uh Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. They didn't know if they didn't know if Peyton Manning was going to come back, you know, because of the the neck injury or whatever. I I've been watching football, coaching football, playing football, and I have never seen a 27 year old quarterback, a franchise a franchise quarterback, and the franchise goes and drafts a quarterback in the second round. I've hmm. never seen that ever. Marcus, this yeah. is why I'm so glad that you came on the show because I knew you. Was Can I ask you this though? Yeah. We were just talking about his game plan. He did. Is is he a bona fide franchise quarterback? We ain't asking about what the organization thought about him being injured. We're asking about is he a bona fide franchise quarterback? There's 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 a lot of guys that are bona fide franchise quarterback. Oh, yeah, that, that, you're doing it. You're doing it, Marcus. Marcus, you're doing yeah. it on the on point network. You can't do this on the on point network. We need to get <laughs> yes or no. You I'm, just, do this. I'm, I'm just saying, look. No, 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 you're doing it again. You're doing it again. It's yes or no. I'm not doing it. What I'm saying to you, let, let me let me answer. Okay. Part of being a franchise quarterback is availability. If you're always hurt, if you're always hurt, and that's any position, then then I have to start reevaluating. I have to reevaluate your role in my in my franchise. Because if I have to sit up there and I have to I, – every season I have to be like, he's going to miss five or six games. He's going to miss three or four games. We got we, we to gotta have a contingency plan because these things if, – if he gets hurt, our season is going down the dumpster the dumpster shoot. Well, and that's what, that's what happened. Well, since he's been in the NFL, he's only missed eight games. When, when though? <laughs> when? 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 Y'all, listen, you sound like an in song. When I <laughs> we, we say it, I, I've said it once and I'll say it again. The best ability is availability. Well, if you're, if you, listen, if you're he's missing, available. 
He played all 16 games this season. How did he do? Got hurt, and then got hurt. His first playoff game, he gets hurt. Somebody hit him with a dirty hit. Somebody hit him with a – so what happened with him when he broke his leg? And then he and he missed and he missed the Super Bowl run. See, see he broke his leg, Marcus. What you tell me that he fell on the, the, the thumbtack and he said he can't play no more. All right, give me something that's like valuable here, man. Did he get hurt his rookie season too? No, he didn't get hurt his rookie season. He played the whole sixteen as rookie. Okay, so he, he, he played the whole sixteen last year. Okay, in 2017? 2017 is the year we won the Super Bowl. So you know what happened then? Do I need to remind you? Hey, it, no. hey, okay. I don't do coulda, woulda, shoulda. It's not I, no coulda, woulda, shoulda. I said it, it, that was the year we won the Super Bowl. That wasn't no coulda, woulda, shoulda. It happened, player. Okay, yeah, I, I understand, but not by now him. Brady just talked not about it him. on Sunday, okay? It not, happened, not player. Not, it didn't happen with him. It didn't happen with him. He does have a Super Bowl ring. Okay, and so does David And so does, uh, so does does David Carr backing up Eli Manning. That's and so right. does Robert Or. So Robert Or has got seven championships, too. Robert Orr actually put one. Right, let me get to some comments, y'all. Let me get to some comments. So why you so uh, why he gets to the comments? Why do you feel as though Carson Wentz should not be able to find franchise quarterback? I think he's I mean, I it's like because the last time I talked to you, I remember we was talking about a quarterback. And the number one thing that you kept saying is, you know, he went to Philadelphia and lost to the stinking Eagles. And I was like, man, if he lost to the Eagles, what quarterback did he lose to that, that was on the Eagles? And I, oh, it was Carson Wentz. So when it's when it's time for Carson Wentz to win a division and beat the Dallas Cowboys. He gets it done. All right. Before we turn this into an Eagles Cowboy, Jack, uh, Jack, right? Jack, Jack and Carson Wentz got the same amount of, of, of uh, division championship. All right. So with that being said, yeah. it's a except, tie. Except, except, Dak, that, except, except Dak has started every game of his career. All right. That's so now different. that we know that Dak has started every every game in his career, it is an even split. We got to get to this review real quick. So we talked about quarterbacks, which obviously you see this going to be a debate on, on another show again, which is fine with me. I love it. Um, we talked about toughest one-on-one feats in the NFL. Obviously, you see them here covering Tyreek Hill, stacking Mahomes, tackling Henry, blocking up uh, for Donald, blocking Donald, tackling Lamar Jackson in the open field, or taking a full in Nelson. Uh, we all said that sacking Mahomes probably is the easiest out of these six. Building the perfect team. I said, well, you know what? If you take one out, you got to put one in. I gave Marcus some props on his team when I said linebackers should be the Dallas Cowboys uh, when Sean Lee is healthy. Okay? I gave him some props, too. I said the wide receivers should be either the Cowboys or the Buccaneers. I said the secondary should be the Bills. Wide receivers should be Buccaneers. Uh, O-line, yeah, I like the Colts. Tight ends need to be the Eagles. And I yeah. said O-line should be the Eagles or the Cowboys. Yeah, or the Cowboys. I said, I said defensive backs should be the San Diego Chargers or the Baltimore Chargers. Ravens. Or the Ravens, yeah. How far right. are the L.A. Chargers now? That's not a bad, that's not a bad, that's not a bad list. That's, no, that's not a bad, bad list at all. We also, we also asked you about uh, most sets. We talked about most sex by brothers in a day. Which, uh, t- if you started a, uh, if you started a franchise first, which brothers are you taking? Are you taking the Watts? Are you taking the Bosa? I said I'm taking the Watts. A lot of energy. I'm taking the Watts. There's somebody on this panel that could have had both Watts. Mm-hmm. Somebody on this panel. They skipped out on both Watts. Then we you talked about. You know what, Dennis? You know what? Dennis, you, you know what? I didn't even think about that. You're right. We could have had both the Watts brothers. Yeah, both the Watts. We could have had both the Watts brothers. Yes, you could have. And by the way, I started off the show with uh, my man Aaron Rodgers, obviously, as you see. Uh, <laughs> are you ready? Who should Aaron Rodgers go to in the next two seasons? And I explained it. I said it was these guys. Yes, I said it was these guys. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Not, He's trying to be mayor. And, and I explained it, by the way. I He's trying to be mayor of Buffalo. By the way, while we sitting up here talking about Buffalo Bills, I have Buffalo Bills hats to give, by the way. For anybody who calls and can answer two questions, I got Buffalo Bills hats to give away, um, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I don't care, Marcus, just because he ain't going to the Cowboys, just because you got Andy. Why wouldn't he go to – why wouldn't he Why would he not go to the Cowboys? If if uh, if the Dak situation – I'm just saying, just if the Dak situation doesn't get solved and you put Aaron Rodgers on that loaded Cowboys offense, 
to go back with his former head coach, I think that's more realistic than him going to the Buffalo. Head coach that they said he got okay, so so watch this. And I explained it earlier. I explained how real it is. Aaron Rodgers is a cold weather quarterback, first and foremost. Number one. He's a cold weather quarterback who who thrives in cold weather. I don't know why he's looking like that. Go look up his records. I already did the research. Where did he go? Where where did he go? Where did he play college at? We know he played in California, but guess what? Okay. Guess where he has the most issues in the NFL playing against? California teams. He's he's not he's not a warm weather quarterback. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's, that's because he has one wide receiver. That's because he had one wide receiver. That's no, no, sir. That's let me ask you a question. No, no, sir. How many okay, so for his career, let me ask you again. How many warm weather losses does Aaron Rodgers have in the playoffs? Exactly. Okay. Just go look it up. Just go look it up. Look. Just go look, look it up. Did, did Michael Vick? Did Michael Vick beat the? Did Michael Vick beat the the, the Packers at home? Did he break? We're that, not. Like, we're not talking about. Game? We're not talking about Michael Vick. I don't, I don't care about Michael Vick. I'm like, just because he lost, look, the other team was just better. It doesn't mean he can't play in that though. No, 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 sir. I'm saying that he's a better. See, you're trying to discredit me without without hearing the premise. The premise is is that he's a better cold weather quarterback, which is a known fact. His record at, in cold weather situations are way Does better. Because he, play, than because he plays in Green Bay. No, he plays in Green Bay. Uh, uh, so, so wait a minute, Marcus. If he's that good in cold weather, right, and he needs a team that has a loaded defense, and we both know, Marcus, you know Aaron Rodgers. Yes. What's the, what's the best? What's the best way for him to stick it to the Green Bay Packers, Marcus? He's he tried to say Chicago. Go to Chicago. I'm saying go to Buffalo because the ring matters more. First of all, if he was to go to Buffalo, Buffalo would be a sure shot shoe in probably for the AFC Championship with him going to Buffalo with the weapons and the defense. Aaron Rodgers would be a sure shot. Marcus. AFC Marcus. Championship at least. If Marcus, not going you, to the you going, You're going to Buffalo or you going let, to let Chicago? Me, let, me t- let me tell you something. Aaron Rodgers would go to – he would go to New England before – what, what is it with every time a free no, agent? No, why do you keep football? saying New England? Listen, his ring would mean nothing going to New England. You want to know why? Because Tom Brady's <laughs> already won six of them. His ring would mean agree. nothing. Okay, maybe he's, I, I, okay, I kind of agree with him on this. Thank you. His ring would mean nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Marcus. No value. Marcus, where you from, Marcus? Where were you born and raised? I was born, I was born, I was born in Chicago, but I grew up in, in New Mexico. All right, M- Marcus, wait a minute. What what way is to stick it better to the Green Bay Packers than to go play for the Chicago Bears? What's I'm not doing way? nothing. Brett Favre already did though. Wait, so why not? not? You said not. this. You you said this before already. Uh, I already said it. I'm not doing yeah, nothing. Right. Brett Favre right. Did. No, no, no. You said this months ago. You said when I said, "Don't be surprised if Green Bay takes a quarterback." You said Green Bay ain't doing that. They're not going to do the same thing with Brett Favre. Hold on, I got to read these comments. But, but listen, listen, because I didn't think that the organization was that stupid enough to do that. Why would you get a, a quarterback and a running back? Mind you, those were your best two attributes on offense last year. But let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Before you read the comments, let me ask you this: because every I, I've noticed, I love my Rise Up family, and it's mostly a bunch of Bills fans, and I love y'all. Uh-oh. But when is the last time? When is the last? What is the most prominent free agent? I, I said I'm that, that Mario. Is Mario Williams? Mario Williams and Mario Williams. Williams. Yo, was the last two. I said that. But see, that's why you shocked the system. What year was that? What year was that? I think they got Mario Williams like 2000. It don't matter what year it is. It 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 don't matter. It matters about the It does matter because it shows a a pattern. It shows a pattern. Okay, and guess what? I'm saying that the pattern they need to shock the system. If you wanted to shock the culture, I'm telling you right now, Aaron Rodgers coming here, he he would get the key to the city. The whole city would go crazy nuts in Western New York for somebody who lives here. It would go nuts. Do you know? Do you know the chances Buffalo would have to actually making a Super Bowl if Aaron Rodgers was to come on to the Buffalo Bills with that defense and those weapons? Rodgers with that, no, answer the question. A- a- answer the question. With no, what did you say? Aaron Rodgers would make any team exponentially better. How about Aaron Rodgers? How about this? How about this? How about if how about if Jimmy G doesn't work out? Aaron Rodgers goes to San Francisco. Hey, hey, Dre, Rodgers. who was my second team, Dre? San Francisco. You said San Francisco. Okay. Well, my, my, whole, my whole point was again is that y'all can try to y'all can try to debunk it, but it is a known fact 
Aaron Rodgers is a better cold weather quarterback. You, and you know what else he is? You know what else he is, Dre? No fact. If you put if you surround Aaron Rodgers with elite talent and give him some receivers and give him a running game and an elite defense, that he will win anywhere. Why would I listen? I'm a California guy. Okay, hear me out on this. Hear me out. I heard you. I'm a California guy. This is what y'all don't understand about certain certain areas of the country. When certain when certain Here we go guys, with the deep national geographics again. Listen, leave I'm national geographic explorer off of the on point network. We don't need national geographic explorer. Okay, know, okay, I'll make it simple for you. Don't nobody want to go to Buffalo, bro. When they could go to I California. knew he was that's the only reason why he was saying that. I knew that. Can I say something? Can I say something? Can, can, can I say something real quick? If there's one thing that we know about Aaron Rodgers, we know that he's a savage. Leaving the Green Bay Packers. Going to Chicago Bears. Make I just, you know, I, you know what? Here you go. Megan, Megan Stallion. Listen, I'm not trying to, listen, I'm not trying to see him go to Chicago. I'm sorry. Maybe I am being a little biased. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I, I think it would be more likely. I think it would be more likely that Aaron Rodgers would go to the San Francisco 49ers. That's the easy, to the that's the Bay. easy, listen, it wouldn't be a hot take if, it, if I just said the San Francisco 49ers. That, it, it's a hot take, a fire starter for a reason. That's why I said the Chicago Bears. Now you talk about, you talk about sticking it, you talk about sticking it to the, to the Packers. Whenever he goes to San Francisco and, and let's say Jordan Love, Jordan, Jordan Love, you know, he, he takes over whatever, and he meets Jordan Love in the in the in the NFC playoffs and just smokes them, just smokes them, just kicks kicks Green Bay's teeth in. That that would be the story, guys. No, the story would be that I'm it. smoking him twice the a year. The story is the story is right here. As simple as this. Dre, I'm on your side on this, one, which is rare. The story is bringing the championship, bring a Super Bowl, a Lombardi Trophy to a team that has literally no chance. That's never won one. Thank you. The story. Thank you, Chad. Hey, Chad, Chad, Chad from Mayor. Chad is trying to get Mayor of, of Buffalo. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, you better go. watch it. Here we go. Let's, Let's be clear. Mayor of Let's Buffalo, watch him. We got Let's Mayor and we got. Let's um, be clear here, too. Let's be clear. You put Aaron Rodgers on that team, on that Buffalo team with that defense? Or you Steph put Aaron Rodgers on that team, on that San Francisco team with that defense? Or on that Chicago Bears team with that defense? With that defense? Marcus, Marcus, what, 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 okay, what receivers? What, what, and what, receiver? what receivers? And what, what receivers? receivers Marcus? 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 What receivers? What receivers? Do, receivers, receivers get another receiver to you. What? What? Um, who who led the league in rushing this past season? Uh, that was um. I mean, Nick Chubb. That, that would be Derrick Henry. What team? What team Tennessee. led the league in rushing? Was this? Oh, the, was you this talk about the, the, oh no, 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 no. You talk about what team led the the whole entire. De, it was it I San Francisco. Yeah, it's San Francisco. It was San, look. I got a, I, I got an elite defense and and a running no team. No wide receivers and no wide receivers. Debo 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 Sanders. You said it yourself. George Kittle. George Kittle. He's not. He's not a receiving threat. Look, we're not okay. just talking wide receivers. Wait a minute. Whoa, Marcus. So, wait a minute. So that is, uh, I'm glad you brought that up, D-Wit. I'm glad, D-Wit. The vault, baby. High five. Air high five. Yeah. So you're telling me that the 49ers got more offensive weapons in Buffalo right now? Yeah, it's about it's about the same. Yeah. It, it sounds like a violin. It's about the same. It's about the same. So what you trying to say? George Kittle and Stefan Diggs can't swap? Yes. No, no, no. I'm no what I'm saying when you look at their whole receipt, look, Debo Samuel, who you just you can roll the listen. Let me let me answer. Debo Sam, you can just roll the ball to him, hand it off to him, run jet sweeps to him, dump a wide receiver screen, and he takes it 90 yards. So we say okay. Buffalo don't got players like that either. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not discrediting. Look, I am I am a Stefan Diggs. I am a Stefan Diggs fan. I really am. He is a, he's an only because fan. of fantasy football, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let him get a fool, y'all. I, I, yeah. I do. I think I think Stefan Diggs, but when you look at who George Kittle is one of the top two tight ends in the league. I like the kid Ayuk that they just drafted out of Arizona State. I I like I like the weapons that they have over there. But the main thing is he would run the football. He would have to make like maybe four or five throws a game. That's it, and he gets to play at home. Oh, let me let me never underestimate never underestimate 
a guy being able to play in front of his home people. Never underestimate that. Uh, never, 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 never underestimate that. Unless it's basketball. So let me let me read some of these comments real quick. Um, Kelly said, talk to him, Dennis Hall. Uh, Mr. Randall, what's up? He said, watch Dark sit out. Watch uh, sit out, and he will be. What's up, Dre? I didn't see you. What's up, Ricky? Um, agreed. I think Wentz should uh, go to the verdict is out. Oh, wow. TC putting him all the way down at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, your, your next no feeling show is going to be me and you, all right? Just let you know that. So, Eddie uh, Eddie said, that's my quarterback, that's my teammate. Uh, Ramona said, G, G damn, not one Steelers player on this list except for Ben Roethlisberger, all right? Uh, he said, Aaron should go retire to the retirement home. Oh, Lord. Dalton said he should go to the retirement home. Oh, boy. Uh, you guys can call, by the way, 716-243-5669. By the way, Shout out to the On Point Network and Rise of Family uh, Sports Network for what we do. Uh, Ramona and I said my statement was a build, building a team from different players across the league. <laughs> Mr. Randall said Air Rogers is serviceable. Ha <laughs> ha, we remember that. I can drink more beer in warm weather. Boom. The Cardinals should uh, should be on the trios. Okay, Air Rogers the Buffalo. Josh Allen uh, doesn't improve himself this year. I like it. I like that idea. Dre, if you wanted to stick it, he would he would follow in Brett Favre's uh, footsteps and go to Minnesota. Mm, no, I don't want him following Brett Favre's footsteps. Uh, Aaron Rodgers not going nowhere. Yes, I know. I don't want him to go out of Green Bay. But if he just did, I think Buffalo would be a great team for him. That's just my fire starter. <laughs> that would still be following Brett Favre's footsteps. And I gave you a premise. Why? Oh, because he went to the Jets? He went, yeah. Still be following uh, footsteps. Just mm, to let you know that. Uh, mm, okay, I guess. I guess. I guess you could say that. That's a. That's a good point. He did go to the Jets. Um. All right. So. You got the wrap up for the first half of the show, and of course we had a debate about. Eighty percent. Eighty percent of that. That top tier and Aaron Rodgers going to Buffalo, which is interesting. Y'all yeah, saw it. Y'all heard it. Shout out to Marcus Betts. Shout out to Chadwick George in here. Uh, shout out to Dennis the Man Holmes that's in here right now. All right. By the way, watch all of their shows. Each one of them have a show for sure. All right. Let's get to the next topic, though. And our next topic is top five quarterback, running back, wide receiver duels in the league. Number one, they gave it to the Dallas Cowboys, Prescott, Elliott, Cooper. Number two, Breeze, Kamara, Thomas. Number three, Cousins, Cook, Thielen. What? Number four, Ryan, Gurley, Jones. Number five, Rodgers, Jones, Adams. Do y'all agree with this list? Uh, I think that the uh, Green Bay Packers should be higher. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The only reason why I say that because Kamara, Kamara and Gurley both had about 800 yards rushing. You know what's funny? You know what is funny? I remember when I told you, Dennis, that Kamara wasn't that good. Now you're using my saying. Because, that listen, when you that told good. me that I'm sitting here defending his talents, I didn't defend his stats. Yeah, okay. I got you. Um, no, I don't agree with this list. I would definitely have – Um, I would actually move – Um. I would move the Vikings down to five. I would move Green Bay up. Only reason why they have two right there is um, Michael Thomas is just a stud at the end of the day. Um, and he's better than Devontae Adams. So that's the reason why they have that up there. So I would move Green Bay to three. I'll keep one as – oh, that's tough. But I'll keep one as Dak and Elliott. But other than that, that's all I'm changing, though. Just three and five to swap. All right. So – so. You would swap three and five. I, I – uh... What number four is number move, five? Uh-huh. Honestly, I would actually move. I would actually move Green Bay to two. I would have no issue with Green Bay being two. When you just look at those three, they carry that team. Seriously. They carry that. They they carry that team. They did. In fact, they, I, in fact, in fact, and I don't mean to interrupt Marcus, but mm-hmm. uh, I actually, and people are going to say that it's because I'm a Green Bay fan. But I think Green Bay is number one. No, I, I'm going to explain why. Oh, okay. let me explain why. 
maybe Aaron maybe. Rodgers in a in a game managing year just threw 26 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Would you say Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott? Yes or no? No. Yeah, okay. You're bugging. You're bugging, but okay. No. You're bugging if you're saying Dak Prescott is a better quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. But you're, okay, you're bugging on that. I'll give you that. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever Eagles fan. Whatever Eagles fan. Okay. Right. Uh huh. He threw for 5,000 yards last year and didn't even make the playoffs. But okay. Ain't you the same person that had a. You know what? I'm not going I'm there. The, I'm the same person. I'm not going there tonight. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not listen. going there tonight. I'm the same person. I'm not going there, there tonight. Bro, are we going there tonight? On the old no, Grimace. Network. I'm not no, going, going, going there tonight, tonight. Grimace. No, no. I'm not going, going there. I'm, I'm not going there with network. your hamburger stealing self. I'm, I'm not going, going there tonight. If that Prescott. Should be paid. We going there tonight. No, no I don't feel no, like going there. No. 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 All right. So let, let me finish. Hold on. Let me finish. Don't start. Don't right. start. Then it's it starting trouble. No, 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 no. But listen, no, no. listen, no. Tell me another. Hold on. So here's the second. Here's the second part. Here's the second part. So not only did Rodgers get the furthest out of all of these quarterbacks, but um, let's move to the running backs. Um, sir, can you tell me another a running back who had 20 touchdowns last year? Nope. Um, that's Tell me another uh, quarterback, another running back who had 20 touchdowns last year, because none of them on this list did, and not even close. So are you I saying mean, that's better than Zeke? So, so I think he's more. I think he's more dirt, uh, at versatile. We talked about Christian McCaffrey being versatile. Aaron Jones is very okay. Let me stop you right there. Let me okay, stop. let me stop you right there. The year before, Zeke had 77 catches. Do you know why he doesn't have to catch a lot of balls? You right. want to know why? Because of Amari Cooper. No, not just because of Amari Cooper. Because they had two 1,100-yard receivers. Receivers this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, do, yeah. they had two 1,100-yard receivers. And yeah. a, and a, and their, their slot receiver at the time, Randall Cobb, had 800, 800 yards receiving. So yeah. the, the, reason that Jones, the reason that Jones is getting a lot of catches is because – they don't have any receipt because the Packers don't have any other receivers. You know what? You know what? That is that is a that is a good that is a good that is a good argument. I agree with the argument, but still in all, there's not one still, there's not one GM in this league that would take Aaron Jones over over Ezekiel Elliott. Stop. Right, right. But, but watch this. Okay. We're the same. Hold on. We're the same. We were the same, same group of people that tried to say the same thing about Christian McCaffrey. Remember. No. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have any weapons. No, he's, no, no. He's, he's, an, he's an awesome. He's an awesome no, player. No, no, no. We talking Aaron about this. Jones really. an, there, Aaron Jones is an awesome player. There's nobody. Listen, look, look. You, you. Hold you on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. I got Marcus right now. Marcus, who did you say yeah. you wanted to get on your show? Who's that? Uh, 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 uh no, you heard me. Don't, don't do the, don't do the Sean McDermott. I said. Who did you say you wanted to get on your show? It, it's it's going to happen, Aaron Jones. And I will, and listen to the Rise Up family. I will say this. I will we say call all it. of this. Aaron, listen, I will say all of this. I will say all of this to Aaron Jones's face while he's sitting right there with me on the Zoom. Call us. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's up? First ladies in the house. <laughs> There's not one GM. There's not one GM in the NFL that would take. That would take. Look, you you said the difference between uh, Aaron Rodgers and Dak Prescott. Okay, not a problem. I'm not going to argue with you there. Twenty six touchdowns, four interceptions. Okay, I got. You. There's no. There's no. But the, the that comparison between Dak and Rodgers is the same comparison as it is between Zeke and Aaron Jones. There's not one GM in this league that would take. There's not one GM in this league that would take. Aaron Jones true. over. True. Ezekiel That's Elliott. very true. That's very true. I'm not. I'm not discrediting what you uh, said. I'm, I'm just saying by last year by production, I'm my man had 20 touchdowns. That's all I'm saying. Oh, by by production, my man had 20 touchdowns last year. That's all I'm saying. And Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams is dang all good, brother. He is good, but not. But he is good. But you can say the same thing about Mark Cooper. I mean, truly, you can say the I same. Think thing Adams is better than Cooper. I that think they're. I think Adams is has a slight, a slight. I mean, slight. More, it, it, but, Adams is going to get more targets because he's the only target that they have. 
him, yeah. him, him and Aaron Jones are the only two. Look. Okay, now no, we're just going, we had to like we had to like Devontae wasn't this, putting up numbers when Jordan was around. This comparison is with trios, but then after that, the, the reason that Amari Cooper is going to have a, a, a another great year is because he doesn't have to be the he he he's going to some of the, some of his targets he's going to be wide open because he, because CD Lamb is going to terrorize people. Michael Gallup is going to terror terrorize somebody. We're just looking at the trios, but when you look at the receiving core. Who are, okay, who who are you more afraid of? Marquez Val, Valdez Cantling or Michael Gallup? Mm. Uh, everyone, everyone are you no, more, are you more that depends because Marquez? I tell you what, Lazar balled out last year. Okay, Lazar, are, you more Lazar, scared Lazar, of, are, are you more scared of Equiminius State Brown or C D Lamb? Let's answer that question. Let me get her back on the line. Um I don't first of all. D D ain't played a game yet. Don't even mention his care. name. You, 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 you just look at you look at what the guy. Yeah, but we we, we, but we looked at a lot of players that we thought were good and ended up they were going to be good and they didn't do anything in the NFL. So we can't say anything. So we can't yeah, play. play along. Even if, even if C D Lamb is just an average, which I don't think he will be. Let's just say that he is. There are two receivers. Are both had eleven. Their top two receivers had eleven hundred yards a piece. A piece. I mean, like I said, here's what I'm going to say to you, Dre. Your best ability is availability. Devontae yeah. Adams is ever available for a full season. So I'm going to take Amari Cooper over that for that just that reason. Now, I do think he has a little bit more talent in him, not right running wise, just, just talent wise, you know. He, he is a bigger wide receiver. He is more physical. But I'm taking Amari Cooper because he's available all the time and he has more 1,000 yard receiving seasons than him. Devontae, uh, Devontae Adams only has one. He probably would have got it last year if he would have played more than 12 games, but right. still. Right. Okay. All right. So who do we say is number five? Can we all get a consensus on who's number five? Number five is is got to be, it's got to be I, Minnesota. It's got to be Minnesota. Know, but I don't know though because no oh, Atlanta, Atlanta I think it might be Atlanta. I'm Julio I'm Jones, Dennis. I'm with you. I I think it's Julio Atlanta. is the only bright spot though. Julio's the, yeah, I say I think it's Atlanta. Julio is the only bright spot. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm going goes, with Atlanta. Atlanta is hot. And Julio goes weeks without touchdowns. He goes weeks and weeks yeah, and weeks. Hey, hey, listen, I don't know. I don't know. The, I can't answer that. But he I get him on fantasy every year. But I can't answer that. He does. It's true. <laughs> Last year he beat San Fran. He had three of them things. Yeah, I mean, he and once again he does the same thing that Khalil Mack does. One week you'll see him get five sacks or three touchdowns, and then the next week and the next three weeks he gets zero. Hold on. Shout it's, out to my shout out to my mentor Pat Freeman that's watching right now. Shout out to you, uh, Pat. Appreciate you watching. Um, all right, so we on the consensus. So what's our consensus? One, two, three, four, five. Atlanta's five. Minnesota's four. I have a Green uh, Bay at three. Yeah. I got Green Bay at no, two, I, at least two. I got I got Green Bay at I, I got Green Bay at two. I got Dallas at one. Green Bay at two. Uh, uh, Saints, Saints at three. three. Saints at three. Uh, Vikings at Vikings at four, and and uh, Falcons at five. Can I ask y'all something? Go ahead. Y'all have I understand the, the I would say Aaron Jones is better than Kamara. I get that, but Thomas is better than Devontae Adams, and Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers aren't too far apart, if not similar. So I need to read these comments. What what what's um what's pushing get, get the, the Packers over? Him? Yeah. I'm off a boy. I'm off a. What's the pack? What's pushing the Packers over the Saints? Um, the, what's pushing the Packers over the Saints because they have a clear Aaron better wide receiver. Aaron Jones, it's it, Aaron Jones. In my in my opinion, he's head and shoulders above Kamara. Head and shoulders. Hold on, wait, but you and but Rogers you're, got you're, further than Brees. You're the same person that tried to tell me that when he's playing and he's not injured, Kamara. And I remember who everybody who said it. When I was talking trash about him, y'all said that when he's playing, he's a top, he's potentially a top five player. I mean, top okay. five running back. And that's, not, and, that's what, and, that's, and that's the separation for me, brother. Yes, but he, it, he Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara. Alvin okay, so, Kamara so, so, wait, wait, wait. Always hurt. So can I? So can I ask? Okay, so that's one position. Michael Thomas is better than um, Devontae Adams, right? That. Yeah. 
Look, don't say look, 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 look. Did, did y'all see that? Yes or no? Hang on. Did y'all see the Twitter war that that uh who was it? It was yeah. Michael Thomas and, and who Devontae Parker. I get Aaron Nickerson okay. said he's changing the same trio, by the way. Yes. De- Devontae Parker was telling him, he was like, dude, if I get 150 targets too, and I get to play with a and I get to play with a a Hall of Famer my entire career, my entire career. I'm over here with Ryan Fitzpatrick and 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 the the Uber driver bringing me bringing me uh, ham sandwiches. So many y'all kill y'all so that times because we. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's like look, we, we have to look at it. And, and we we have we, to look at who you play with matters too. Go on, just jumping back real quick to everybody's talking bad about Sam Darnold. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to defend Sam Darnold. I don't know this. I don't know that Josh Allen is head and shoulders above Sam Darnold. When Sam Darnold has no offensive line, no a terrible coach, no receivers, and he's getting hit on every play. Who you play with matters, man. Hold on, but Marcus, now you now you're killing yourself a little bit because because look, no. look, Aaron Rodgers is playing. I mean, Devontae Adams is playing with what people consider the most talented quarterback of all time. That's what people consider him as, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's a Hall of Famer, right? First ballot. So is Drew yes. Brees, correct? Is that is that not true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They both neither one of them, neither one of the teams has a second wide receiver until now, with them having a Manny Sanders. The, the Saints didn't have a second wide receiver, nor does the Packers. That's why I told Dre that's why they were gonna lose both of the teams because they don't have a second wide receiver. But, but this, they are no, both in the this, same situation. Man. But guess what? But guess what? Availability, if you yeah. say this, availability yeah. is your best ability. The, the, the Packers did absolutely nothing to improve their their wide okay. receiver for okay. I just want to say this real quick. Hold at, on. Least Saints, at least the Saints when he got uh, Emmanuel Sanders. You're right. I agree with you. But we're talking about from last season to this season. Right. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Let me let me get to this comments real quick. Uh, Emmanuel Gomez said, I have it. Saints, Packers. I mean, no, he has it. Cowboys, Packers, Saints, Atlanta, Minnesota. Uh, I also want to get to these other comments. Uh, Donovan said, now coach, uh, now the coach matters for Downer, but didn't matter for Dak. Pay Dakota. He said, uh, what's up, Devon Stanfield? you in the house. Michael Gallup will be nothing when Holmes uh, shuts him down. He said, the difference between oh. Rodgers and Dak is uh, that Rodgers has won a Super Bowl. Uh, Mr. Randall said, it don't matter if you uh, still estimate and anticipate a new uh, trio can do. Curly fits uh, Atlanta well, and Edwards Hilaire will uh, fit the Chiefs scheme as well. Kellen for the culture said, get him, Dre. Um, I'm here to say that we all getting it right now. I am just super excited right now about this show. Uh, shout out again to everybody who tunes in supports uh, the shows, man. Continue to do so, man. We ain't going nowhere. We just, we here. We here on point. I'm telling you now, we are here. All right, I'm here, oh, okay. I'm here to stay. Now I want to get to the next. I want to get to the next topic, and this is and this is a very interesting topic. I know you guys want to keep going. I think uh, we're gonna have another show on this too. Uh, by the way, because it's real juicy, y'all. It's real juicy. So here's the breakdown of uh, top hundred players: <laughs> the Cowboys with seven, the Packers with seven. Marcus Betts, I yeah. would I would give you a high five, but you've been trying to diss me the whole entire show. Even though you my bro, I, I'm still gonna give you a high five anyway. High five, air high five, because uh the Packers and Cowboys is is number one on this list. You gonna leave my hand hanging? You know what? I got you. I got oh, you. I was about to say Cam Newton. I was about to say you I mean Cam Newton left the ball hanging in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I was about to say you gonna leave my hand hanging. That's what we're doing. Um <laughs> All right, so Cowboys, Packers, seven, Saints, six, Eagles, six. What up? What up, Dennis, the man, Holmes? Uh, Chiefs, six, Buccaneers, six. six. We got six players on there? Yeah, six. All the players we had injured? Child. Buccaneers, Buccaneers, six, Vikings, six. There's three teams tied for, uh, tied with five. And then here's the fewest. <laughs> the Panthers, Raiders, Bears, Jets, Bills, <laughs> Giants, Zero on the Dolphins, which I think is absolutely absurd. And um, zero on the Redskins. This I got a problem a, with this list. Who's yeah, that, who's a, that one? Hang on, hang on. Who's the, who, who's the one player from the Bills? Trey, Trey White? Ain't no question. 
There's no question. Got to be Trey White. I think the Bears should have to. That's one thing. Um, yeah, they got cool Mac in there, but I mean, we're just gonna forget that. Are we gonna forget that uh, McKay Mix plays for the team or something? I, I don't know. He is one of the best, better offense. I mean, defensive linemen in the league. And honestly and truly, I mean, I guess if we're going off the of last. Allen Robinson isn't a top a top 15 wide receiver. I don't know, top 10 maybe too, because the way he played last year. I think they um, should have more than one. I don't know, that, that seems a little too steep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, true. Also, who are the Packers seven? No, this is, no offense. Who are the Packers seven, though? It's probably Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Brothers, Devontae, Devontae Adams. Adams. That's and three. In the corner. Both. Jair Alexander, who's been God, he's, not been. he's been hyped. Okay. Hyped. He's been, but he's not top 100. Um, sir, sorry, sir, 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 I know you ain't talking about hype when you got Walmart hey. corners. When you got Walmart cornerback. I ain't got Walmart corners no more. Tell Marcus. Oh, because you got Darius Big yeah, Play Slate. I got Big Play Slate, baby. You got Big Play Slate. Right, got me a new toy to play with. Yeah. Don't even know. Yeah, okay. You're going to be so upset if, he, if he's bad. No, he's going to be tight. I'm telling you right your, now. He's he going to be tight. He's going to be tight in the strip. You got you got your new uh, Namdi Asimov. Congratulations. I right. He's going to be tight. I, got, I would say I got my Amari Cooper stopper, but as long as he play away, he ain't going to show up anyway. So, hell. Hell, that he might, might not even, even be, he may not even be covering Amari Cooper. He might have to see CD Lamb or, or Michael Gallup the game. Oh, he gonna shut CD down. Okay, he gonna shut CD down. We got a caller on the line. Hold on a second, y'all. Caller on the line. What's good? Let's see who it is. It's from what's Minnesota. Up, Minnesota, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's good? Ricky, what's good? NFC East in the building. That list that you just showed, we'll have at least one more next year, and that guy's name is Anthony Thomas. Or Andrew Thomas. Who? Nobody's believing oh, in the offensive lineman over there? Andrew. Yeah, he put the offensive okay. lineman on there. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, that is just not a sexy pick, but it helps our team. You want, didn't you want to see a wide receiver? When we were doing the, when we were doing the, dra- the pre-draft shows, weren't, weren't you the one asking for a wide receiver? Until he started listening to me. Dennis, you know how I feel about SEC linemen. Yeah. You better start changing your mind. I would I never know. I don't know though, man. That there's this one, there's this one, there, there's this one offensive lineman, man. He's six Ooh. foot seven. Three oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. He's from Louisville. He's from Louisville. With, with six percent with six percent body fat and ran a five five one. I'm, I'm trying to think his name. I think he went to the University of Louisville. Uh, yeah. I'm a Mackay Beckton, what, right? Uh, Mackay Beckton, right? I, I, I don't know. I've been. I, I like unicorns. My my daughter likes unicorns. All, too. I I like is, unicorns. all I know is these last ten years, SEC offensive linemen suck. So I don't trust any SEC linemen until I see it. We'll see about Andrew Thomas. We'll see about Jedrick Willis too. We shall see. All right. So. You're right. He is better than Garrett Bowles, but guess what? The Giants still suck, but that's besides the point. We actually improved our team. What did you guys improve? Hey, offensive line. Yeah, okay. It's still pretty bad on the defense. It's still bad on the wide receiver side of Clayton, but hey, that's besides the fact, isn't it? They still got they still got they still got Daniel Jones at quarterback too. Oh, that's the terrible part. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where we at, Drake? George. George. Uh oh. It's all right. Where, where they didn't put Carson Wentz in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, no Carson. Uh huh. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So I think they're. I, I think they're. Uh, I think they're predicting. Yeah, you, know, you can't be in the top one hundred when you're not a starting quarterback. So you're you really think Dale Hurts is going to take? Look, I'm going to say this as clearly as I can. Because I don't want I don't want there to be any type of misunderstanding. You better watch what you say. Draft, man. When they draft a quarterback, look at me, Marcus. When they, dra- when they draft a playmaking quarterback, say, right. whose, game, whose game kind of mirrors yours, 
Uh, Jalen Hurts wasn't a fourth round pick or a fifth round pick or a sixth round pick or a seventh round pick or an undrafted free agent quarterback. He was drafted in the second round with all the holes, with all the holes that the Philadelphia Eagles had on Marcus, their team. Marcus, uh, yeah. as you know, don't start talking stuff without being able to back it up on, on the you know, network, okay? You know, you know me and you, we're gonna we going we going we gonna discuss this. Yes, I might need you on. I might need you on the alphabet show. I, I, I might need you on the alphabet show. Yeah, this is Does fight? Does it have to get my first invite to the alphabet show? I'm. I'm look, I, I got. I got my. Sure. He is really putting you out here right now. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody on All Point Network sees it. Am I getting my first invite to the all, to the alphabet show? Did I wear my Eagles jersey? Dennis Holmes. Dennis Holmes. Dennis Holmes. You you are always welcome to the alphabet show. Always. Oh. Dennis, I mean, not Dennis, but Marcus, before you yeah. finish what you're about to say, because you think the Jalen Hurts is going to take his spot, is Carson, you probably, you think Dak's better than Carson Wentz? Do I think that Dak is better than Carson Wentz? Yes. My, my feeling is what way? My because here's, a, here, here's, my, here's my only rebuttal to that. Here's my only rebuttal to that. As I always say, Carson Wentz played with a bag of sweat this year and still made it to the playoffs. While Dakota Prescott had everybody on his team. Everybody on his team. He had everything except here, and he, but here's where he lacked it at the most. He lacked it on the defensive side of the ball, and he lacked it at coaching. Is Doug Peters is Doug Peterson a better co- coach than Jason Gary? Yes or no? He was, but guess what? Hold on, Marcus. Here, here's my only rebuttal to that too. Once again, okay. Here's my only rebuttal to that once again. Okay. We can blame it all on coaching stuff, but we also seen Zach play some horrible plays this year. Like absolutely terrible plays this year, and we've seen him play bad in the first half to the point we had to play catch up in the second half. You can blame that on coaching, but you can also blame that on Dak Prescott because he looked horrible in a lot of games in the first half. That is no, that is not. Do you know how many yards did Ezekiel Elliott hit rushing in the first yard against the Buffalo? I've told you as many of times that they didn't give him the ball in the second half, but you know what that goes back to, too? He wanted to be the golden ball. He wanted to be the golden boy, too, because if I was a quarterback and you wanted to defer, why not defer the ball to your best player on your team? I mean, I'm just I saying. Mean, I, I don't, know, Sometimes if has, you gotta I don't know if he has that kind of control. I think I think with Mike McCarr, I think with Mike, I think with my look, if you give Doug Peterson the Cowboys roster from last year, do they just go eight and eight? If you give Carson if you if you give Carson Wentz that team that um they, that they got over there, I bet he doesn't get injured. And I bet he I bet he goes at least 13 and three with that team. I'm I'm guaranteeing oh, you that. He, he got injured in college, too. He's always been injury prone. The dude is made out of paper he mache. Goes to he got State, hurt in North Dakota they're State, good, too. They're a good school. They're a good school, but let's not be – let's just be unclear. That they're they're not that great of a – when they play these D1 colleges, it gets it gets shown that their offensive line is very bad. It gets shown that their weapons aren't that good. So let's be clear about this. That him playing in North Dakota – I mean, North Dakota, North Dakota State – North Dakota State – North Dakota State, North Dakota State I think – is is a powerhouse division one double A school for what they in? Yes, exactly. they are. They are. They are. They are a powerhouse. And I agree with you. For what they're in, they are powerhouse. They about to have. They're about to have another quarterback drafted out of there this year. So I do agree with you. But once again, if you give Carson Wentz the team that Dak has with Ezekiel Elliott, who's a way better running back than Mal Sander, with Amari Cooper, mm-hmm. who's a better than every single. Your, your, sec, your second wide receiver is better than every wide receiver that the Eagles have. With an offensive line, you don't think they don't win 12 and with 4 when they just made it to the playoffs? It, and it shows it. Listen, it shows the absolute ineptitude of Jason Garrett. It shows the absolute. Look, this guy, this guy, listen, just hear me. And I'm not trying to make excuse. I'm not trying to make excuses. I think that. It, we keep going back and forth. Should Dak get paid or whatever? Yes, he should get paid. My only my issue is not with Dak Prescott getting paid. My issue is with Dak Prescott with the money that he's trying to get. Okay, that's that's the only that's the only issue that I, that's the only issue that I have. But Jason Garrett is a terrible coach. We have to we have to come to grips with that. Adam Gase is a terrible coach. Doug Marone is a terrible coach. It gets to the point where it's like you you it's just it, everybody can see it. He he squandered he squandered he squandered the career of Tony Romo. He squandered the career of Demarco Murray. He squandered the career of Jason Witten. He squandered the career of Demar- uh, Demarcus Demarcus Ware. He squandered the career of all of these players. 
all of those offensive linemen, he squandered their he squandered I get you. Their, he squandered their careers, bro. So last I don't last think that Mike going to do that. Last thing right here. If we're gonna let you use this Jason Garrett excuse, then Bills fans can use their excuse for the offensive coordinator why Josh Allen didn't perform last year in the playoffs in the second half or when they have yeah. bad play calling. Yeah. If that's the case, if that, if that, look, if that's the case, Josh Allen gets an excuse and are so we, does Are Dabble. we gonna compare and, and we're, so does we're the gonna offensive get, quarterback? I mean, offensive coordinator Dabble. That's the what does that have to do with him throwing from fifty eight percent with fifty eight percent completion? What is, what is what is what is it? All right, John. Listen, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We gotta move on. We got like we got like ten minutes, and I got Ramona on the line. She was trying to talk earlier. Ramona, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Get in here, first lady. Let's go. Yeah, get on in there. Well, ten minutes left. I only called in on that on that chat. Uh, the the duo uh, Jason and Garrett. Oh yeah, the the trio, the trio situation. The I had Dallas in first. I had Green Bay in second. I had the Saints in third, the Vikings, and then the Falcons. Awesome. Awesome. If I was, was going to go with those particular teams. All right. If we were going on the last, last year's play, I mean, I, I think that uh, Kansas City belonged on that list as well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We got one more topic, y'all. Ten, 10 minutes. We got one more to- a topic, and then we got to we got to send a shout out to a few people. Um, and the topic is as follows. I'm going to show this to you. Um, I don't want nobody to get upset at this, but I would be upset. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'd be quite upset at this. Okay, here it is. Ramona, tell me what you feel about this. I'm gonna let you go first too uh, about this list. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go first. Well, top 100 NFL players, as you can see, quarterbacks, number one, Patrick Mahomes, number three, Russell Wilson, number seven, Lamar Jackson, number 10, Aaron Rodgers, number 11, Drew Brees, 19, Tom Brady, 46, Dak Prescott, 62, Deshaun Watson, 70, Matt Ryan, 86, Kirk Cousins. All right. With that being said, with that being said, I'm just going to tell you exactly how I feel about this list. Well, I I don't ask. Where's Ben Roethlisberger on that list? Uh, Yeah, number one. Where is Big uh, Big Ben on this list? I'm going to put off last year. year. They're going off of last year. That's why. He's such well, a fearless homer. Well, well, first of all, if this is top 100 quarterbacks. Yeah, don't say oh, from last year. But say top 100 quarterbacks. Top 100 NFL players. Yeah, 100 NFL players. I think They're this was. They're going off of last year. They're going off of last year into this year. Ben Roethlisberger didn't play this year, so he truly don't know how he's going to play. That's the reason why he's not on the list. That's all. I mean, that's the only reason why. He wouldn't have made the list anymore. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, they're only showing the quarterback part, though. This is just the quarterbacks. They, they're not showing the whole NFL 100 list. I think on the next show, I'm going to pull up the NFL 100 list. Hopefully Deshaun I- Watson needs to be higher. Mr. Simple is that. Um, uh, Deshaun Watson should be higher. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers should probably be higher. I don't think Tom Brady should be that high at all. I actually don't mind where Aaron Rodgers is if we're just going off of last year into next year. I mean, I don't. That That's as simple as that. But they didn't help him. They didn't help him in the wide receiver standpoint. I yeah, don't I, I only – listen, here's why I only help it. Because you could easily say that the Green Bay Packers for a month had Walmart wide receivers as well when when Devontae Adams went down. They won every single – they won every single game. And Aaron Rodgers threw only four picks for the whole season. I Tell think, me another wait, wait, Andre, oh, Andre, Andre, quick hold question. On, hold on, hold on. Tell okay. me another quarterback who for their career has a five to one, six to one, seven to one. To nobody, nine. nobody. Listen, nobody. But listen, can I ask you a question? When Devontae Adams went down, 
Was that one of the same time y'all played the Cowboys? You know what? No, that was that was the same game we played to damn Eagles. Stop playing. No, 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 no. I, I know we when he went there, but I mean after that, did y'all play the Cowboys while Devontae Adams wasn't there? Yeah. And and the Cowboys lost to y'all. Maybe you know what happened. <laughs> you know what happened. Marcus know what happened. Let me guess. Was it Dex fault? Was it Dex fault? Listen, the 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 thing that has been bad with the Cowboys is the defense. That's why it was addressed this offseason. They could not stop Aaron Jones in that game. And when I talk to Aaron Jones and I bring him onto the Alphabet Show, I'm gonna I'm gonna have words with him about trying to clown my Cowboys. A lot of money in fantasy, so make sure I'm there. Oh, no, wait. oh yeah! Oh, Ramona brought it up something too. He said he dropped the ball on Thanksgiving too. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. And I will agree with you that on this game that this was coaching and game plan was horrible. This game because the week before that somebody rushed for like two hundred yards against the Packers and guess what? I didn't get the ball to see. But also that played like complete dog crap that game except for in the second half. When you oh, I'm just saying that, that, that better than Carson Wentz, dog. You know. What'd you say? What'd you say, Ramona? The, the thing that needs to be voiced the most is that Josh Allen went into Jerry's house and schooled the Cowboys. <laughs> went to Jerry World okay. on Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh yeah, Jerry's well. He did. And I still think that it was it was the defense. The okay. defense has been carried. Come on, you gotta look at you got you gotta look at. Ramona, what 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 was the what was the saving grace of the pack of the of the Steelers last year? Was it your offense or your defense with Duck Hodge starting? Absolutely, I can tell you put our defense and your offense together last year and y'all to win the Super Bowl. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So it's like don't look at it as was it Duck Hodges doing that or was it Minka Fitzpatrick and all them studs that y'all had over there on defense? I'm not gonna give him pro- I'm not gonna give him props when you got a number. When you got a top two defense that, that allows you to make mistakes and stuff like that, I mean, come on now. I mean, you gotta you gotta look at it like holistically. Josh Allen is he's an okay quarterback, but his defense bails him out of a lot of stuff. And the same thing with Jimmy Garoppolo. All right, folks. It's been uh it's been lovely. I just want to put this out there real quick. As you can see, you see this real quick. Um, we are running out of time. Prayers go out to uh, Patrick Ewan and his family as as he was diagnosed with COVID-19. I just want to leave you out with this. Where do you rank Patrick Ewing? In what? On the all-NBA players list. Is he, think, is he in the seven. top 25? Is he 25 to 50? Is he 50 to 75? Put it in the comments section. Patrick Ewing, Patrick Ewing is the Patrick Ewing is the Dan Marino of basketball player. That's what he is. Uh that's too much. That's too much praise. Let me be honest with you here. It's too much praise. Where, where do we gotta rank that on that top 74 joint? Where do we gotta rank that? Hold on, hold on, real quick. I'll bring it up. I got it right here. He was Patrick Ewing was. He was number. Oh boy, my eyes are bad. <laughs> he he's in a fifty range. He's like in the, he's like fifty to fifty fifty to fifty eight. I'm Patrick, looking for him. Patrick Ewing is is top fifty eight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't have him in that hat, which I mean, I don't. He was thirty seven. My bad. I found him. I found him. He's thirty seven. He's thirty seven. No, he was thirty seven. He's thirty seven. Oh, he's 37. Patrick Ewing is 37? Yeah, it makes sense to me. I mean, to be honest with you. Like, you just gave him a Dan Marino praise. That's too much. Come on, Mark. You gave him Dan Marino praise? Like, really? He was a great great player that just could never get over the hump. He played in the NBA Finals. He had good games in the NBA Finals. He just – he ran into – we he ran can't. into a bus. He ran into a bus on like Dan Marino used to run into those bills. Dan Marino, Dan Marino. People consider Dan Marino a top five center. He's never been. He's not a top five center, right? I mean, a top five quarterback. Sometimes he's not a top five center, is he? Uh, Dan Marino's not a top five quarterback. So he used to be considered. He used to be considered up until two thousand what 
eight, nine, maybe. Yeah, about that. Yeah, let's let's be honest here. Let's be but, honest but, here, Marcus. He was considered a top five quarterback about until two thousand eight or nine, right? I mean, that that's that's fair enough, right? I think that is. Tasha Ewing is not a top five center, so therefore, thirty seven is a good ranking for him. All right, y'all. Um, we are out of time. Uh, this has been phenomenal. Monday Night Madness, y'all. Y'all continue to watch. Tomorrow, Talk Yo Ish Tuesday. Friday, the Alphabet's football sports talk show. And by the way, support The Vault as well. The Vault is also a Monday show. So make sure you support all four of the people that's on here right now uh, with shows. And support the Rise Up Sports Family Network. We got a plethora of shows that come on every week, all week. Um, make sure you uh, get into that, all right? Because we about unity and community. We want to make sure that we continue to bring people in day by day the best way we know how to. And that's what we do better than anybody. Rise up second to none. This has been Monday Night Madness. We had Marcus Betts, Marcus the Alpha Betts, Dennis the Man Holmes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man, my man Chadwick George. All right. Yeah. Go watch him. Andre the Torch Robinson. We're going to keep this thing rolling. Can't shout out to the people wait. that called in. Shout out to them. Absolutely. Shout out to everybody that tuned in for sure. Make sure you tune into the family show on Sunday night, TODT Live as well. We got plenty of shows, plethora of shows. Uh, Ramona Die, MVP, she's coming back with her debate show. Cannot wait for that. That is a phenomenal show. You guys keep tuning in. Keep supporting Rise Up Family. You see it right here. We around the world. All right? Continue to support.